Hey Taurus, what's up? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm coming to you with your late December general love reading. So December 15th through December 31st, we're going to see what's going on with you guys and love. This is general, okay? It won't resonate with every Taurus out there. Check your moon, your rising, and your Venus. I am doing personal love readings. Link is in the description box. And Vimeo has your bonus and extended readings, okay? So how does your partner feel about you? What's going on in their energy? What's on their mind? How do they view you? What's in their emotions and feelings that they're not saying or revealing? And how do they want to move forward? And your bonus and extended readings will also look at what's going on behind the scenes with your person. Roadblocks, challenging energies, and see what the outcome is, okay? So let's see what's going on. Who and what is Taurus dealing with? Taurus, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Any all messages here for Taurus? Clear, concise, accurate messages, please. Oops. Okay. All right. Let's see. What's the current situation? What's the situation with Taurus and their person, whoever they're thinking about, whoever they're connected with energetically? King of Pentacles, that's your energy, Taurus. So you guys are looking very strong in December. You guys are very abundant. You're standing in your power. You know what you want. You're grounded. You're wholesome. You guys are focused on your money, your family, okay? You guys are investing in your future. Um, but you guys have no love. What the hell? Taurus. You guys may have fell out of love with someone or someone may have recently broke your heart. I'm feeling you guys ended a love situation or a love triangle. Let's see. What happened in the past? Ooh, the moon. So whoever you were dealing with, Taurus, they, ooh, they had some secrets here, right? They kept things from you. And some of you guys took back your, your love from this person. Some of you guys are emotionally closed off now and you're just focusing on yourself, right? You're you very much... Um, not interested perhaps in giving love right now you're just working on your family your home right your stability because whoever you were dealing with they had something up their sleeve okay they may have deceived you they may have lied they may have been dishonest they may have tricked you okay this is someone who was not really um up front with something here there could have been some things done behind closed doors in the dark that you didn't know about okay and the Eight of Pentacles, there you are, Taurus. You guys are working on your damn money. you like, leave me alone, okay? I'm busy. Some of you guys are learning a new skill, okay? You have a new hobby. What's going on in the foundation with whoever this person, whoever this person is, whoever Taurus is dealing with, what's going on in their energy that Taurus needs to know? The Chariot, okay? So they may be moving toward you, Taurus. They're coming at you. Let's see. We're going to have to find out what that uh, the Chariot is about. Ooh, Four of Pentacles. So your person... Your person could have been very close off. I feel like you guys could have went through a period where they completely um, stopped talking to you or communicating. Someone could have went ghost or blocked the other person. And I feel like this person became very guarded, okay? I do feel like if your person, if you found out some secret here, okay, and you, um, it may have caused this ending here with the Ace of Cups in reverse, I feel like your person may have been embarrassed or I feel like they were put on blast here. And this is someone who may have retreated, may have withdrawn their energy, put up their guards, okay? I'm getting blocking blocking they blocked you out they wouldn't let you in this is someone who's now wanting to take some action to open up towards you okay to let down their guard all right let's see we're gonna have to clarify right that's what the clarifier is all about he'll tell us more about the story um the ten of cups is here okay Oh, wow. Okay, well, you guys may be happy in the month of December or happy to know something here. There may be something coming towards you that's going to make you happy. Damn, the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus. Wow. So you guys are getting your love back and you're getting your stability back. You guys are looking like you got, you got everything you need. I mean, what, what more do you want? The Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups is here. Okay, Taurus. You got someone coming towards you with some kind of... um putting some effort into the situation this is someone who wants to commit to you um this is someone i feel like there's a family situation here okay i feel ultimately your person is making some kind of promise to come towards you with something that you've been wanting for some time the five of swords but you guys view this person as drama or conflict you guys got your sword out and you're ready to chop off this person's head. Oh, the seven of swords. Someone is wanting to clear the air with you. So if they lied, cheated, deceived you, this is someone who wants to clear the air. They're wanting to make something right. 
They're wanting to tell you what happened. They're taking charge. This is someone who's very adamant about um, proving something here to you because they're not happy. The Nine of Cups in reverse. They're not satisfied where things are between you and this person. All right, let's get some more messages here, Taurus. So this is what's going on, right? But if you want to know a little bit about your person's feelings, emotions, what are they not saying to you, check out Vimeo, okay? All right, why is the King of Pentacles here with the Ace of Cups in reverse? You guys just like, you just don't love this person. Whatever they did, it, I'm getting some kind of foolish, foolishness, foolish activity, and it caused you to pull back. Some of you guys decided, you know what, I'm going to close off to this person. I'm going to protect my heart, and I'm going to focus on myself. Okay, win win, right? Um, the two of swords, and this was the decision that you had to make. Some of you guys felt very conflicted. Do I give this person another chance? You felt blindfolded. Some of you guys, you felt like there was something here you weren't seeing or you weren't told, all right? And it made your decision um, very, very difficult, okay? Um, I feel like there was more than one person in the picture. I'm getting like, I'm getting some dark energy. I'm getting something around the connection here that may have caused you guys to hold back or fall out of love. The Ace of Cups in verse or ending some kind of relationship here. Why is this Ace of Cups here? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There was a decision that you had to make, but I don't know why it was difficult. Why it was so difficult for you to make this decision? Perhaps because you love this person. Yeah, you love this person, Ten of Cups. You had this Ten of Cups with them, but you're going to get it back. Some of you guys are getting your Ten of Cups back. The challenge is to see if you can have, if you can make a decision and be happy again, right? Ten of Cups, fulfillment, happiness after this kind of breakup, whatever who this person is. But I feel like a lot of you guys are getting it right back because whoever you are thinking about, whoever this is, they're bringing you the Ten of Pentacles and it's going to make you happy. All right, the moon card. What happened in the past with this moon card? Some deception. Yeah, Knight of Cups in verse. Someone was fooling around. Someone was not, you know, being fair or honest with their feelings about you, okay? Or they could have been giving or taking action in another situation, okay? That night, they're taking action somewhere, and it probably wasn't in this connection here with you. Some of you guys, you found out this person may have been dealing with a cancer or a Pisces. Um, or you're dealing with a cancer or Pisces. But I feel ultimately this is something here that this person was not giving entirely to you. Their emotions or feelings were giving um, to another person or elsewhere. Okay, They were not entirely emotionally invested. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Taurus? The Hierophant. Some of you guys were in a commitment with this person. You were fully invested. You are fully invested in this person, Taurus. But this person wasn't invested in you. The death card came out, Scorpion energy. You had to put an end to a situation here. It had to be some kind of change. Because whatever was happening, you, you weren't feeling it, okay? Taurus, that's your energy. With the death card, you guys are wanting some kind of change. Some of you guys are going through some kind of big spiritual awakening or enlightenment, okay, from this breakup. It's causing you to, I mean, some of you guys are turning to tarot to heal, all right? But what's this chariot about? What was this person coming towards, Taurus? Taurus, a Cancer, Eight of Pentacles. Wow. Some of you guys, you met this person at work. Okay, I'm getting school, college. But someone is wanting to put in some effort here. Time, energy, and energy. Time, energy, and energy. <laughs> Time, energy, and effort into this connection with you. They're coming towards you full force. This is someone who's made up their mind already. You can't talk them out of it. The chariot is like no play. Yeah, this person's watching you. They're watching, waiting to see how can they make this happen. How are they going to take action towards you? They may be coming up with some kind of strategy or plan. This is someone who wants to open up to you, let down their guards, four pentacles in reverse after an ending. So this someone is resisting an ending here with you. Any betrayal, any hurt, if they stabbed you in the back, ran away, neglected, abandoned you. This is someone who wants to come back, wanting to open up. Ten of Cups is um, fulfillment, happiness. Why is the Ten of Cups here? For Taurus. Six of Cups, a past person. If this is a past person you fell out of love with. Six of Cups and Ace of Cups in reverse. Some of you guys, you, you, I mean, you're taking back your love, but you didn't really fall out of love. You get what I'm saying? You guys are still in love with this person, but you're choosing to not love them in the moment or choosing not to be with them. Maybe love them from afar, okay? Um, but what I'm seeing is that some of you guys, your past person is coming back to reconcile with you. The Six of Cups is wanting to offer something. This is someone who isn't done. They're, they're definitely keeping an eye on you and they're wanting to come back is what I'm seeing, okay? They're not happy. I think neither one of you guys are happy without each other. Why is the Ten of Pentacles coming toward Taurus? Two of Pentacles, there's, there's someone juggling here still. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? This is someone who's trying to come up with a plan or make a decision here, going back and forth. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for Taurus's person? They better not be juggling. 
You don't want to call back no damn juggler. The Empress. Okay. Well, some of you guys they have a child, a mother. Okay. They have a, they have a um a baby mother. All right. Or the Empress could be your energy, right, Taurus? Like they're wanting to nurture you. They look at you as someone who's very abundant, graceful, um, worthy. You know, someone that they want to, you know, give to. So let's get one more card here because I don't like that juggling energy right behind it, all right? Oh, what is this? Um, seven of Cups. So your person is no longer having options. They may have been dealing or still tied in some way with their child's mom or father, or whatever. There's someone here that they were juggling back and forth. They couldn't exactly let go. Could have been a codependent relationship with the Ten of Pentacles. Could have been a marriage. Okay, but I feel ultimately your person wants to make a decision, come towards you. They don't want to have options anymore. Your person is not happy with the other option is what I'm seeing. Oh, yeah, they're coming back to you. This chariot does not play, okay? They come in, they're not looking back. They're coming in, and there's only one way forward toward Taurus, okay? Uh, why is the Five of Swords? You guys are, like, mm, prepared to fight. <laughs> you guys are, like, not really feeling this person right now. Why is the Five of Swords here? Ace of Pentacles. Some of you guys have a new beginning elsewhere. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here with the Five of Swords? Or some of you guys are conflicted. You guys don't, don't even vision this person really giving you a commitment. Some of you guys feel like the commitment that they offer is like bogus. <laughs> I don't know where I got that word. Um, It's garbage. Yeah. Some of you guys see the truth of this person. You feel like this person does not have the ability to commit. All right. And the judgment in the verse is that you guys are not considering it anymore. Some of you guys are just not interested. Right. You're passing judgment. You're like, uh, I'm good. You know, some of you guys are just not interested because you see the truth. The Ace of Swords is truth, clarity, right? You took that blindfold off. That Two of Swords, before you may have been fooled or, you know, blinded in love. You know how we do. But you're, per you're now seeing the truth. And some of you guys are not even seeing this person as a viable option in having a commitment. Mm -mm, no way, Jose. Been there, done that. Seven of Swords. But your person wants to clear the air with you, Taurus. Give me one more chance. Um, clearing the air, making up for any wrongdoings, lying, cheating, deceiving, whatever that is. What's this about? Yeah, the seven of one. They're wanting to let, they want you to let down your guards, right? Because you guys are being, you guys are blocking this person out and they're not happy. The nine of cups in verse, they're not happy at all. But they could have been very selfish before. And now they expect that when, you know, when they're ready, when they want to come in, things are just going to pop off, right? Things are just going to work out for them. But it's not. The world is in reverse. This person missed their opportunity here with you. That ship has sailed. Okay, because some of you guys are not interested in communicating the Eight of Wands in reverse. Um, some of you guys, it is karmic, but I feel with the with the world in reverse, I feel like this is out of their control, and they know it. Um, and some of you guys are just closed off to communicating. You're not interested one bit. Some of you guys are just not even picking up the phone. You guys are not entertaining a conversation with this person. Because you know what this person's capable of. And that seven of swords, they may have lied many times to you, right? They may have been dishonest with you and cheated on you. You, you may have been very, very unclear what was going on behind closed doors, right? The moon card. You never knew where you stood with this person. And some of you guys are just like, I don't know if I can do that again. I don't know if I can go back. Why would I go back and replay this cycle over and over again? How stupid would that be, right? So I do feel like you guys are guarded towards this person. I don't know if you're really entertaining conversation because the Eight of Wands in versus a lack of movement. This is not taking action here. There's some stuck, stagnant energy still. So I feel some of you guys are just not really interested in this love opportunity. That's why we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. While it makes you happy that this person's coming back. Oh, yeah, really? Wow, my ex has come back. But, you know, at the same time, you guys are just... Mm -mm, you've fallen out of love, right? It's like, you know, you look at this person differently. So Taurus, I don't think that you're reconciled with this person. This person wants to come in to reconcile the Ten of Swords in verse. They want to make up for everything that they did, the betrayal, the hurt, the abandonment. But um, it's your decision, right, Taurus? So you, only you will decide. Um, if you want to look at your person's energy, again, check it out on Vimeo. Personal readings link is in the description box. You guys have a great remainder of your day. Take care, stay safe, and stay well.